Uh, hi, my name is Matt Kelly. I play drums for Dropkick Murphys. I just played Hang 'em High, and I'll uh, attempt to make a breakdown of it for you here. It's a ternary um, little little ditty on the toms that starts off as the intro. It's just. Uh, Working mostly on floor one and floor two with a little bit of the rack here and there. I'll pretty much embellish. After you, after you record something, uh, I find you, you tend to sort of let it grow from there and you know, you, whether you make it more complicated or simplify it or even change it every night. It just depends on your mood, I guess. And then it'll, it busts into a, like a jig, I, I guess. Um, it might be a slip jig, but I think it's just a plain old jig because it's, it's pretty much in four or two or cut time. And then it breaks down into a just a shuffle on the floor, Tom. Just and then that's where the verse comes in. You basically play the same thing um, through the verse. It's just ringing guitars, menacing, nasty, punctuating on the cymbals, and just going around the toms, kind of trying to be flashy and intense or something. And then it kind of builds up on the snare. Back into the chorus, which is that jig. That's essentially it. And then you know, there's a bridge in the middle where I'm kind of um, riding a kick high and snare um, with some just some accents. It's there's a nice banjo line going, you know. Then we go to the uh, kind of bring it on home with a double chorus thing. At, at the end of the song, break down back into the drums. And on the record, it fades out live. Uh, go into another song, segue out into another song. Um, yeah, anyway, that's sort of a uh, rudimentary grade two level um, breakdown of uh, Hang Em High. Sometimes doing double strokes on the toms can be a little challenging, depending on the tension of your rat, of your toms, you know, with the response. Because you know, doing double strokes on, say, a floor tom isn't exactly easy for most people, um, myself included. So that getting it to sound smooth and then you know not not flubbing can be a challenge, I'd say. Yeah. 